What's up, y'all? Just came from the gym, fresh out, you know what I'm saying? Smelling like straight hoagies with extra onions. But before I jump in the shower, I want to give y'all <laughs> this plane. I don't stink. Anyway, before I get dressed, I want to do this video because, and you know, when I'm driving along, you know, little ideas pop in my head to do videos, and this is one of them. Jealousy. Now, I know the title is Dating, you know, Secrets Exposed. I, I want to talk about jealousy for a second. Uh, jealousy, by some kinds of psychologists, has been called um, a form of in, uh, form of insanity. Now, I don't believe that, but I believe it can drive a person to insanity. Okay, some people is already insane, and they get jealous, and they ain't a good, you know, you know concoction. You know what I'm saying, um, but it is a form of insecurity. So if you can, it, it, you if you want to get rid of jealousy in your relationship, you got to become secure in yourself. And you gotta become secure in your relationship. And that's the only way that it's gonna happen. Okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all some funny stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure we've all been through it and done it. How many of y'all have been with your girl or your guy walking in the mall? Somebody come up to him, say hi, or somebody wave across the way and say hi to him. And you're like, yeah, who's that? You fucking? I ain't shocking your dick, did you? Yeah. Oh, y'all just friends? Okay, y'all just work together? All right. They ain't never asked you out? They started just ask, giving you the third degrees, just asking all these questions? Me and my girl do this shit all the time. I actually do it for fun more than jealousy, like, because I'm pretty secure, you know what I mean? But I do it for fun, so, you know, but she be on me sometimes. See, I worked with a lot of waitresses. I used to wait tables and girls. I'm always running into girls, just running up to me, giving me hugs and stuff. And she's like, yeah? Oh, how you know her? Yeah, I asked. She hugged you with her titties. She gave you a titty hug. So, did you go out with her before? Did you make out with her before? Huh? Did you fuck her? Like, no! I didn't, I didn't fuck that girl. God damn. You know what I'm saying? That she don't believe me because a lot of times I'll answer her in an impression. So, I'll do an impression to answer her. I'll be like, I, Optimus Prime, Val. That I did not cheat on you. And then, you know, she'd be like, I don't want to hear Optimus Prime say it. Say it in your regular voice. Why don't you believe me? Come on. I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't go down. I didn't. <laughs> she won't believe me. She's like, say it in your regular voice, Tyrone. You was at the club last night. Any girls come up to you? Hmm? You dance with anybody? Like, The Rock says this. The Rock was at the club last night, but The Rock stood on the rail. He was a wallflower. He didn't do nothing but maybe the Cupid Shuffle. That's about it. It's just like, keep playing, keep playing. Answer me in your regular voice. Like, all right, babe, I ain't do nothing. Damn. It's like, she don't believe me. Like, it's a way out. Like, if I use an impression, if I'm acting like somebody else, that's my way of lying. <laughs> She's hilarious, all right? Remember that Mike Epps um, uh, a video that he did and he was all like, he was talking about Bobby Brown. He was like, <laughs> Bobby Brown is the funniest nigga alive. No, my girl is the funniest nigga alive. She is hilarious. So y'all know that I'm a voiceover artist. You know, I'm, I'm an actor slash model slash impressionist YouTube personality. So yeah, of course I want to make it. And uh, you know, so I was, I was messing with her one day and I said, you know, a lot of dudes when they make it, it's crazy how they leave the girl that's been with them for some Hollywood star. She was like, Tyrone, you leave me when you make it, I'll hunt you down and I'll burn you alive and walked into my kitchen to get a drink. Like it wasn't nothing. She didn't bad not <laughs> or nothing. I come up missing, y'all. Just so you know, you go after her, okay? She did it. I'm buried in a box somewhere, gagged or something. She done put some knockout juice in my water and, 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 and drove me off a cliff or something. So just watch out. Now, I be jealous too sometimes, you know, just, just, just a tad, just a tad. So, um. You know, I, I mess with her sometimes. I'll be like, yeah, where you at? And uh, she'll be like, oh, well, I'm over at my friend's house, or I'm over here, or I'm over there. I'll be like, yeah, I'm in the area. I'm about to drop by right now. Right now. And she'll be like, stop messing with me. You come on by if you want. I'm where I am, just like I said I was. See, my girl, what's funny about her is she, she white, but she turned black when she get mad. So, you know, 
um, like that threat that she just gave me earlier about burning me alive, she's like, she said it in her black voice, but it was white girl mixed in it. Because black people, we don't burn people alive. You know, we stab you, we might shoot you, we ain't gonna burn you alive. And then walk away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thinking some funny, other funny things that she did. Uh, oh, you know what else? What other funny things she did? We were at the club one time, and uh, I, I ran into this one girl. You know, she was pretty. And uh, me and her actually did have um, a little something. You know, we didn't do nothing, but we had a little something. And uh, she comes over. And she's like, hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> right in her face. And later on, the girls are like, like the girls' friends are all like, Girl, did you see that? Woo! She was like, How do you know Tyrone? Mm. You better watch out for her. And I was like, Oh, Lord. So, let's see what else. What else? What else is funny that she did? Oh, yeah. I got this one female friend that I hang out with from time to time. And uh, it was funny. I was going to hang out with her one time. Actually, no, she hung out with me and my girl one time. And uh, my girl was like, uh, Oh, I like her. She's real cool. She's real cool. I was like, all right, cool. You know, one girl she ain't give me the third degree about. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, uh, I don't know. I was gonna hang with her again one time, and she was like, yeah, just watch yourself. And I was like, what? I thought you. I thought you was cool with her. I thought you thought I don't trust that bitch. You know what I'm saying? She. She looked like she might be your type. And I was like, oh my god, yo. Yo, she is hilarious, man. Now, I'm not putting her out there like that. Like, she's not like a complete psycho. But I think she half jokes, kind of like I do when she says stuff. Yeah, she is pretty secure. But, you know, uh, we, we both, me and her, have had our jealousy issues in this relationship. Um, but it's never gone too far, you know what I mean? It's always going in a real playful manner, you know. Like, she ain't never called me and been like, where are you at? Where are you at? You lying? Cause it's like it's never gone that far. I've never done that to her. I've never just popped up somewhere out of out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to really do that if you trust your girl or your guy, y'all. So that that's pretty much the end of the video, man. You know what I'm saying? Like jealousy can be a bitch, but hey, once in a while it's good for you. A little bit of humor in your relationship. <laughs> All right, y'all. Talk to you later.